So I'm going to look for you. Yeah, you know, it's that program of wanting other people's approval um, and not having it for yourself. So I know you're working on this. You're going to keep working on this. It's a lifelong lesson to go, I love and adore myself. I am my best, best fan. I so love me and approve of me and give myself approval for hours and hours all day. And it's just a thought. It's just like, yeah, I love you. I love you, Miss R. I love you. And you know, just keep when you lay down and take a nap or if you go to sleep at night, just hold yourself, just be there for you. And this might be a little bit of the inner child work that we could do together where you're calling forward the age of the feeling. If she's five or six, where did this start? And then just reassure her that she's loved. You're so loved. And the more you give yourself that approval, the less you're going to need it from other people. And thus, you're not going to have as much um, of the stage fright. The stage fright is fear and that's ego energy. And I think you may have learned this from me is we're either in two spaces. We're either in the ego, which has the fear and the anger and, and the sense of separation and, and the loss. There's just a sense of loss and there's no intuition there. We're not connected to any type of clairvoyance or clear knowing. And so we're maybe not really following the highest path and maybe we're not producing material that's the best. And then you've got the really beautiful energy of being in your higher mind, your intuitive mind, your all trusting, self-loving, appreciating gratitude path of being 100% intuitive. So we're really either here or we're here. It's very hard to be intuitive when you're in the ego because it's separate from the whole. It's not connected. It's a lot more mind energy and the intuitive part of ourselves is just that big higher energy. It's the heart energy. So you get the idea. And there's nothing wrong in being in the ego, but it's about just building those paths, those, you know, those, um, little paths, those bridges that go from here. Okay, I'm back in my ego. Okay, great. Let's see. How did I get back to love last time? Or what did, you know, Danielle say about getting back to love? What can I do? Can I embrace my feeling? Can I talk to my inner child? Can I reassure her? And little by little, you're going to create so many bridges back to your higher self that when you do get triggered, when you do feel like, oh, this heavy energy is back again, you're going to just take a few seconds versus maybe a few days or a few hours to get back. Don't you love we have, do you hear the music? It's so beautiful. <laughs>